My name is Kevin Heisinger. I'm a cartoonist. John P. is one of the best cartoonists alive, the greatest cartoonists alive. John's work uh, is about many things, and there's a lot of it. You kind of need to read all of it to understand the full scope of it. I'm from Chicago. John's from Chicago. So I recognize those landscapes and uh, the, I don't know, the weather, the air in these comics. He captures the Midwestern landscapes and like life itself in, in a remarkably, in just a few lines. Anyone who understands comics understands just what an accomplishment it is to capture as much of life as John does in as few lines as he as he does. It's it's amazing. There's a gentleness and uh, an unhurried approach to life in the work, and it's it's funny too. Uh, and there's like you know a lot of weird details and surprises, surprising details. I'm gonna read a story from King Cat 65, Country Roads, <clears throat> Country Roads, Brighton. When I lived in Denver in the 90s, I'd drive out to Brighton now and then to get out of the city, down urban streets, empty industrial streets, to country roads and the wide sky, past the farms and fields and the guy selling honey out of his pickup truck on the side of the road. When you got to the grain elevators, you were almost there. Brighton and her dusty streets, the thrift store, the Mexican restaurant. Out west of town, past the tracks and the highway, the river flowed along, and I'd sit on its banks and eat lunch, watch the water roll by, the fields and trees, the mountains in the distance. I've often dreamed about living in a town like Brighton, in my mind, it's peaceful, simple, with room to think. I'd get an apartment over some storefront, open and spacious, looking out onto the underused street, draw my comics, read all the books I wanted to read, breathe deep and feel alive. I'd walk down past the train tracks, weeds and gravel, in snow, in spring, in summer heat, Eat dinner now and again at the truck stop, open 24 hours. Wander along the old sidewalks and lawns. At night I'd work, my mind open and free to explore whatever needed exploring. That was my plan after I moved back to Illinois. The plan was Freeport in the northwest corner of the state. I was looking for simplicity, freedom, and a place to sink my feet into the soil and grow. Some cheap, quiet place where I could live simply and work, do the things that really mattered to me, feel free and easy. It didn't work out that way.